on the right here. Well, that just happened. <laughs> uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Let's talk about 556 versus 762 weapons. And this is a really important thing because so many people in the player base itself who don't watch my channel, coincidentally, um, they don't understand what is even going on. They don't understand that there is even anything going on. But 556 and 762 are so incredibly miscast um, because of 6x spray montages and the way that people see people playing at PMCO that the player base as a whole is just generally dying a lot more than it needs to in close quarters combat and in ranged engagements because they don't know what the F is going on. Now, I keep going off on a tangent when I'm doing this audio. And one of the things I want to make clear right up front is that this is not about making the M416 a villain or a whipping boy. Because to be honest, the majority of the player base never gets past silver. I've talked to Ocho about this before. Um, most of the player base, and there are millions upon millions of people. I mean, I've... I'm ranked in solos something like inside the top 1%, right? But in terms of kill rating, I'm ranked like 2,000th, okay, on the Asia server or 1,500th. And that, you want, you think about how many people are playing the game when if an overall rating, I'm inside the top 1%, but it doesn't give me a numerical value. And yet in terms of kill rating, I'm 1,500 or something. It's, it's like there are so many people playing this game and the majority of them just don't play up to high ranks. And it's one of the reasons why they watch casually on YouTube and they watch people who just do M416 sprays and I don't want to leave any names. They watch bollocks people that run around with ESP getting 50 kill games, finding everyone in the lobby. And they think that 556 ARs are the best guns in the game. And I am here to tell you that they are not the best guns in the game. What the 5.56 AR has is versatility. That's what it has. It does not have top of the range in just about anything. Take this situation. This is so typical. We're on Miramar. I've got a Grazer and a Mark 14, which is just God time. And this bloke has an AWM, which I've seen him in the kill feed, and a M416. It could be an AUG, it could be a Scarl. I don't really care. He's going to push me and jump. And I'm like, all I'm going to do is fast weapon switch. I'm throwing a smoke out and I just fast weapon switch and hit him with the org. And the org literally just destroys him because that's what the gun is meant to do. Okay. I am very, very confident right now that if this globe pushes me, he's going to get absolutely wrecked. And he hears the grand pin pull and he thinks, there's my opportunity. Yeah, no. It's not your opportunity. <laughs> your opportunity was when I was moving in in the car because that's what the M4 does well. It sprays very well, but it's not the only gun that sprays very well. You can spray with a barrel. You can absolutely spray with a barrel. No worries whatsoever. I've got so many videos on this channel of me using three and six X sprays with an M762 and it does more damage and has a faster time to kill and does massive headshot damage and it's it's not as good as an M416 at extreme ranges because it doesn't have the shell velocity but it is absolutely so much better at close range and the problem with this whole theory that just use what the high kill don't show me what rank you're in uh, YouTuber loadout is that it's, it's bollocks. It's just made. It's just complete bollocks. Um, these are M762 sprays. What what can't you control that? Like, there's no denying that certain 556 weapons, like the M16, uh, are incredibly effective and do things that the 762 guns can't do. In the same way that the M416 isn't as good in CQC as a barrel, a barrel is not as good a single tap pseudo DMR as an M16 or an M416 or a Scarilla or an Org. It's, 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 this is why the game is the way it is. But most of the player base doesn't know this. They just run the one loadout that they've seen on TV. And that is why that I'm not even that fussed anymore about people who don't follow me 
not knowing this stuff because I'm actually really happy nowadays that guys and girls who are part of my community know the real numbers and get an opportunity to basically beat people by having better weapon selections. Now that's not to say you can't win with a QBZ95 or an M416 or a Famous or whatever the case may be. Because you absolutely can. I mean, there's nothing about that in this whole endeavor. What I want to do is talk about people need to open their eyes and just spend five minutes. Like I got a website, thebushka.com. Go there and spend five minutes and learn that maybe you should be running something that does CQC damage on Sanok instead of just lying in the grass and spraying and praying. The M249, for instance, still gets left in crates. This gun at the last update, the 90 frames per second, the one before the one we just had, became the absolute god gun. It's got 100 rounds and fires faster than a Graza. And look at how much damage it does to me when I'm running an M4. Even though I start first, he nearly kills me. Because that is a gun that is firing so quickly and yet is still lifting crates. Because you know what it doesn't do? It doesn't spray at 200 meters while you lie down <laughs> in the grass. I mean, come on. Like, I just... Oh, I'm so sick of this crap. I did a video the other day. I'll tell you why I've come to Jesus on this a little bit. Um, Zendex, who's a lovely bloke and a good YouTuber, and asked me for permission to use my numbers, which I granted very happily because they're community resources. Did a video on the difference in the damage and the rate of fire at like 60 frames and 90 frames per second. And how lower frames makes for lower damage he's got nearly 800,000 views on that video now i did that video a year ago it's got 70,000 views i did a video the moment the patch came out at all the 90 frames per second stuff i discovered all this all the weapons having different rates of fire i discovered that and i did a video on it and it's got like 20,000 views and i realized that it's my fault. <laughs> it's not anyone else's. I'm not good enough at YouTube, at the algorithm, at getting videos to pop on the charts, at anything. Basically, if I made better content, I'd get more people watching the stuff and more people would know about this. So, at the end of the day, it doesn't do me any good to sit here yelling and screaming that I did that before, because it's my fault. But I want to make sure that you guys, the guys that are my subscribers, don't miss this boat. Don't screw this up. Because there is such a massive opportunity for you when you play this game to exploit people who think that the 5.56 AR is the best gun in the game. I mean, these guys don't understand that the Uzi is no longer the gun that it was, that its rate of fire has dropped with the latest patch, that it doesn't do the same damage. Sure, you can still spray like this. I get that. And you should, when you don't have another weapon and you need a CQ, CQC weapon, use the M4 or use the scar -L. I'm doing a video on the scar -L right now. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying these are bad weapons. I'm saying that 5.56 ARs are versatile. That's their main calling card. They can work at all ranges. They're not the best in close, and they're not the best gun at range, but they work across all those ranges and they are the best gun at spraying. And I mean, look at that. That's what a Mark 14 does. A Mark 14 just rips someone apart. It catches up. People need to know this stuff, but they don't. But you guys are here, so you better bloody well know it. So when you get the chance to pick up an M249, which is a brilliant, 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 brilliant gun. And possibly the best CQC weapon in the game right now. Because it's got 100 rounds and approaching the time to kill of a Mark 14. Which is unheard of. So when you get a chance to pick up a Mark 14. When you get an opportunity to run a barrel. Run the damn gun. Set, your up, set yourself up so that that works. So that your ADS sensitivity and your, and your iPad or phone or whatever works. 
and use the 762 gun for what it was meant to do, which is destroy people in close quarters combat. But because we've got PUBG Mobile and the recoil's dumbed down, it's also very, very good at spraying because we also have a thing called aim assist so that it works like it drags your reticle to headshots when you're running a red dot or a, a holographic. Like, know this stuff, take advantage of it. And thanks very much for being part of my channel where we know that you can spray with a grazer and a three times, where we don't feel like we've got to keep looking for, you know, that suppressor so that no one can hear us when we're lying down in the grass. Ah, 762 versus 556. They each have their own special sense and place in the world. Knowing that and using them correctly is the difference between winning games and losing games. Let's keep winning games. And let's keep knowing stuff the other guy doesn't know and move on with life. I'm Pushkar. Thank you so much for your support. And until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.